This is my Cuddy and I'm here with another one of my projects. This one obviously is on guns and hence its name Gun Study. And it is of course very similar to my other projects with UFOs and the murder study that I did and some other studies. But this one is a little bit different because I actually used two new uh, techniques in here. I was using CSS Grid to help with the layout which I'll show in a minute. As well, also, uh, I tried using another data science library, another data science library entitled Boku, which I got from Treehouse, and I was going through the Treehouse lesson on it, and I com kind of compared it to using uh, NVD3 JavaScript as well. Well, the NVD3 library, so which is similar to D3 library of JavaScript. So... We'll kind of go through, and I guess I'll start by essentially showing this uh, project. And so it has my usual login feature using MySQL. So I just uh, log in here. This is a home page, obviously. Go up here to sign up. I'll just go actually to the sign up page real fast. And that's what it looks like. Sorry, it took a second for my photo to download there because I'm pulling them off the web. So that's the sign up page. Not asking for too much information. Now, if I actually go and log in, it goes here and this is the home page and it basically has a collage right here of a lot of photos of uh, guns and a lot of tragedies with guns and as you can see and if you scroll down you come all the way down here where we can either examine the data or see the data but the whole uh, page was made with CSS grid layout and I uh, as you can see I kept these two the same size this one's a little bit smaller this photo down here takes up that uh, half the space here that this photo would have taken up. This one takes up uh, going across about two columns worth. So it'd be like, what, one, two, three. So yeah, it was really interesting that this photo overlaps right here to make this with grid in this whole newspaper. So uh, I have to say that in using CSS grid, I'm really enjoying it. I think I actually may focus on it because you can just do tremendous things about it. And anyone that's interested, I really recommend you check out some YouTube videos on it uh, that will give you some good tutorials and see what its power is. It really made me a true believer and I don't think so far in my coding experience have I blown, been blown away so much that I have with CSS Grid. It really is incredible what it can do and really change how to make a site responsive and everything. So that's something I'm definitely going to be looking a lot more on and focusing on my projects. But here we go to examine data and it just uses my typical Ajax calls so we can go from 2012 and just see it'll get the data that's how many people died that year and I will say my data right here in this folder it comes from Kaggle as usual Kaggle however you say it and it, this data actually comes from the CDC the only bad part which we'll see in a moment is it only goes goes from 2012 to 2014 so I have these Ajax calls which I really just repeated them over and over again and it really helped me understand how to do an Ajax call and that was actually, I found out that it got really repetitive for me just to do this over and over again because I like to be challenged. And in order to grow, you have to properly challenge yourself. You can't make something too difficult or you can't make something too easy. And this became too easy for me. So after just doing those these six simple uh, calls, I basically just stopped doing it. So that's the whole point of this page. Now we'll graphically see the data. And I made a... Uh, besides the main nav bar up here, I have this other nav bar down here which will take you all down to the separate graphs. But this graph right here by year was actually made by Bo uh, Boke, Bo Boku, however you say it. And as you can see, if I roll my mouse over it, it's not very interactive. I mean, I can if I, I can move it around, but I mean, what, do, what good does that really do me? Not really a lot. So I didn't really like that compared to using the NVD3 JavaScript. And one main reason is watch this like I just hold it over and it'll tell me exactly it makes it much more interactive it's very easy to use I highly recommend anyone that hasn't used this library and again it's NVD3 to check it out and I try to give a link right here to set it up but it's really great library to use and we can go by location as you can see most people kill themselves in their home uh, by age so that's really uh, by race and then by police so this is not police killed and this is police killed and then finally by education so people that have graduated from high school 
are the most likely to kill uh, get killed by a weapon. There's some college of draws found. So yeah, that's this project right here. And I will show real fast if I go right here. This is the bokeh code right here. And this is basically the uh, NBD3 code. And a lot of this is not bad at all. I mean, it's really this amount right here and this line right here that does all those graphs. And it's incredible how it'll spit out uh, this one function right here. Actually, if I go down to the last one by education, which is right here, this one uh, method right here in my class will essentially produce this code right here, which I can cut and paste and put it into my project, which I was doing earlier. So it really writes all the JavaScript for you, and it's a great thing to use. And here I was trying to use, if I go down, the make a, another bokeh plot, but I couldn't. So I just left this in here for my own personal reasons for reference. I'll get rid of some of this as well. But yeah, so this project, I really think it helped me solidify a lot of my skills, and I really enjoyed making it. And if again, I can just click right there and it'll bring me right down to the police graph. So it's uh, kind of like a mini nav bar within the project to go anywhere I want in this page. So yeah, the next library I think I'm going to check out a little bit is Dash. And I'm really interested to see what this can do. And I know it uses React and Python. So we're going to see what how much more interactive that can make my graph. So I'm really looking on a way to make my graphs much, much more interactive. And finally, if you see right here how it says a like, good day test, yeah, that's a username. It'll tell you the user. It'll greet you and everything like that. And it's the same thing over on this page. So that's basically it for this uh, project. And if you have any questions, just hit me up. Have a great day. And logging out.